all right people i've done this thing in the past uh, but uh, the topic is uh, calling uh, web service using a jquery i've done this thing in past but our today's topic is like one of the subscriber has requested that uh, how do you call a wcs service using a jquery it is quite tricky but it is as simple as how do you make a call to wcs service it is same as that there is no such thing i mean no such difference few tweaks needs to be done and it's all there right so this is the sample like i clicked there was no pushback there was a jquery ajax call and the data got updated if i click again the time changes right so this is pretty simple and how do we did it so let's open the visual studio right <coughs> so now to work with first i'm going to show you my solution explorer in the solution explorer you can see one second <coughs> this is my normal default page this is my service the wcf service the with svc extension and my jquery first thing i'm going to look at my service and my service is pretty simple <coughs> i'm sorry service is pretty simple i got i data service i got four methods out of which i'm going to implement only two these two methods and uh, some decoration needs to be you know understandable like uh, this is important web invoke method is post body style should be wrapped then <coughs> response format what you asking is the json right you're returning a json response and this implementation is very basic like if i uh, open the implementation what i'm doing is i'm simply implementing this interface and i'm just returning a string for do work i'm returning something you know the date time now and for the echo whatever input you are giving me i'm just simply supplying some string and that's it that's i mean <coughs> the work done for the service right and there's one more thing you need to add esp net compatibility requirement and the comment mode is equal to this i mean you can find this line on internet very easily it's not big deal right so this is the second change so our service is ready to communicate with our ui part right so what settings we have done in the interface we have done this thing you have used web invoke as a parameter as a like a web invoke it contains a method what are you going to do what would be your body style and what would be the response you'll be returning right so you have so many things then in service you have implementation and this is the only one setting you need to add on top of your class then in web.config you need to make few settings <coughs> few settings it's like by default when you add a service generally you get is basic http binding but instead of doing that what you can do is you know you can simply add the uh, instead of you, you can use web http binding you need to change the binding from the default ws http binding to web http binding all right then you need to add one more uh, behavior in your configuration this is what you need to do you need to add endpoint behavior you supply endpoint behavior name at this line all right and add the same line in here that's it so web dot configuration is set and in order to make sure you're working fine you need to right click on your service all right like this and then you need to view in browser right now i'm running so hang on one second shift f5 and i'm sorry view in browser so you can view the whole service in the browser and something is wrong what just happened assembly logging is turned off one second let me check I'm sorry it was kind of cache once I did the rebuild it kind of worked pretty fine all I did was the rebuild and I try uh, I mean try running again right so it was pretty simple even I got scared for a while like what happened right <coughs> so this is what we have done on the server side so server side part is completed now let's move on to the UI side UI side is pretty simple all right in the UI side if you take a look what I have is this is my form inside of which i have one div which has one input button right and i got one resulting div in which i see the result what i have done right so that's it 
and look in <coughs> the design so this is what i have i have a button inside a div and i have got a response div inside of which i see my response right this is something basic which i have <coughs> so now let's begin with jquery if you're new to jquery no problem go to jquery.com go to download section download the jquery and simply add the jquery to your solution explorer like this i mean the way you want you feel easy then reference the jquery file by simply dragging from your solution explorer all right solution explorer <coughs> to the asps space like this once the referencing is done then you can start writing your script and first thing you will bind an event for button post so you'll start with document dot ready when your page load for the first time you want to bind a click for button close i mean button post which is nothing but it's here right the id is button post hence that's why i'm using a hash over here if it would have been class then i would have used dot right so on this click i'm going to perform something this is what i've binded uh, when my page for the first time so now everything is depend on this function so what this function does is making an ajax call so let's see what it does making an ajax call is like you know very basic and very simple thing it's no biggie you start with dollar ajax you set type post then you specify where exactly your wcf url is right now i'm working in the solution explorer so my service is within my application if you're using the outside service you can go with like you know http my service dot something some method dot com so this is the path for my service and this is my method name right <coughs> next i need to supply any parameters if i am passing any parameters to my service so let's check am i passing any parameters to my service in the do work no i'm not passing any parameters to this so i don't need it right so it's <coughs> simple content type application slash json and the data type as json right so these two need uh, parameters need to send along and once this hub execution takes place the result come into the, su uh, the success part in which like this is customizable like you can uh, display your result right here or you want to call some function like likewise i have called for like you know for the error so you can do as well <coughs> for service failure returns an object i read an object and i see I, I try to find what is an error right so that's what i do so this is a pretty basic ajax call now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this thing right so as soon as i'm going to run this thing i i mean you can see like you know it came here but you want to see like for sure that it hits the service so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a breakpoint in here right i'm going to put a breakpoint in here and then i'm going to click okay so as soon as I click OK, you can see the breakpoint. I hope you can see the breakpoint hits here. One second. But I just hit the breakpoint. You can see the breakpoint is right, right here, and it's gonna return something. Okay. So I hit F5, and once I hit F5, I see the result. Right. So now I'm gonna remove the breakpoint, and I'm gonna keep hitting 59. So you can see the data is updating. There is no such thing as post back, right? And if you take a look at uh, the fire bug you can clearly see i'm making these many requests and over the wire i'm receiving only 53 points so like jquery is like you know the data reduction and all is very simple so you can see in response you're getting the json and the browser is i mean like you know mozilla Firebug is smart enough sometimes it happens like if i'm uh, you remember like you know for this uh, data service in the operation contract i have exp explicitly you know specify that i want my return type as json if i don't put this thing over here it will return me as uh, you know xml by default okay so what happens is if uh, the browser is returning from the service where i'm getting xml then this json would be an xml instead of json right and what i'm re or returning is a do work result so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this guy and simply i'm going to paste this guy in here i mean what happens is whenever you make a call you return you you will get some object you know from the ajax call but inside that object there is one more object which you can find here for do work it is do work result so i'm putting do work result here and if i <coughs> and then you can see the change you know onto the ui part like whatever i'm changing in here like again it was like 54 let's make a call now it's 5129 so like <coughs> it updates the ui it change you are getting the value from the service right 
so that that is the first part now let's take a look at how do you pass a parameter right I mean, like if you want to pass a parameter now when I do this then you will believe me that you know this is working correct okay um, right this name looks pretty scary and this name is my favorite name right so I'm gonna put a debug point in here and I'm gonna copy this function right so I'm gonna call this function now this function expects a parameter as an input it returns a simple string whatever you in input it returns that so all I need to change is the function name in here and it expects a input as a parameter so which I'm supplying as input and the value which I'm supplying so this case in your case it could be dynamic or anything right so I'm gonna quickly run this thing and let's see what happens right hit F5 and refresh the whole page right and now I'm gonna call the WCF service and now you know it is going to hit right here right on this so let's check and it came here and if you if you see i hope you can see the input as jigsaw has arrived here right and i'm gonna remove the debug point and i hit f5 and whoops it didn't update why what happened call wcf service oh sorry 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 i did a mistake like i said when i make a request likewise you know i get the response in terms of json so now I got the eco result right so this is my eco result so what I can do is I can copy this guy alright and I can come down to my default.espx page and I can say eco work eco results control kd and now I'll refresh one more time alright I'll refresh one more time and now I'm gonna get the results and it says hi my, hi there, my name is Jixo and one day I'm gonna kick your monkey ass and now let's see if I can say Hoffman I mean the detector Hoffman and if I refresh again and if I click the WCF service again the data goes to the service and you get the feedback from the service and you simply you know display the data onto the UI so it is pretty simple right so let's do the recap one more time what we did first we started with the, the service right in service the important part was like you know <coughs> to define your operation contract uh, decorate the web invoke method with post and in the end this is very important the web format should be JSON so that was the first change the second change was this ASP compatibility requirement which you need to add in order to make the Ajax call the third thing was the configuration change which I'm gonna show you right now the configuration change was by default whenever you add a service it gives you a WS HTTP binding so in this case you have to use the web HTTP binding plus you need to add a endpoint behavior again you need to add this endpoint behavior to behave your configuration once this is done you almost set right then you go to the J UI part you go to jQuery you download jQuery you reference the jQuery right in here all right then you uh, bind your button click on here to make a jQuery call whenever you click a button right this is pretty simple what are what is the type you posting where exactly you are hitting what data you passing if there is any data then it is data if there is no data then there is no data content type data type if you get a success you manipulate your result here if you get error you try to see what was the error and all right so pretty basic pretty simple and the firebug is always there to help you and the firebug whatever you post you can see what have you posted you can see the input was posted as Hoffman and the response was like you know the eco result and the json is json right so very basic very simple right so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then do me a favor one second i'll tell you to watch you what needs you done all right it's been a long while suffering itmaster.com i'm sorry this is jquery i'm sorry why not i can go to home all right <coughs> All I want you to do is like if you like this video then <coughs> please give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends like you know those who like and uh, let me know your thoughts via comment or any suggestion you can request a video like this video was requested if I get time I will help I will try to create a video and if you're an expert you can improve this then please let me know your thoughts via comments thank you for watching bye bye